Yeah, I'm Laura Roeder. My company is LKR, and we have video training programs to teach small businesses how to do their own online marketing, um, including social media marketing like Twitter and Facebook and blogging. Wow. And where are you located? In Los Angeles. And how can people reach you if they want to reach you? Go to lauraroder.com, L-A-U-R-A-R-O-E-D-E-R.com, or you can find me on Twitter at LKR. And so you, so am I correct, you do outsource social media for people, or do you just train yeah, them on how actually, to do it? actually. We train them, yeah. We have all um, online training programs for businesses that want to learn how to do it themselves. It's all online? It's all online, yeah. We don't have any in-person workshops. Really? And have you found people uh, that you can work with that will do the outsource side of it? Um, that's not really that's not really our specialty. How long ago did you start the company? Um, I started the when I first started, I was doing web design, and then I started the the business that I have now in uh, 2009. Wow! And is it just you, or are there uh, other employees? No, we have a team of, I think, six people now. Um, everybody oh. works from their own home, so we actually don't have an office. I'm here in my home office, and everybody works in their home all over the country, wherever they are. I like that. So, mm -hmm. in essence, you've done the new business environment where it's as much automation as possible, as few people as possible, and everyone works in an environment where they're comfortable. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so I have a question. I'll, I'll ask it later. That's all right. So okay. the, 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 the essence is tell me about your, your, your looking for customer relation management software and how you came to Infusionsoft. Yeah, so uh, for us, it was more of looking for software that could handle – all the different parts of our online business. So that could handle taking credit cards, that could handle you know, shopping cart slash order form, uh, email marketing. And Infusionsoft is one of the only systems that does all those things on one place that shows you for your customers all the emails they've opened, all the pages they've clicked on, everything they've bought, all in one central database. And you, 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 you've used them pretty much since you started. Let's see. I've, I guess we've used them for not since I've started. I think we started using them in 2010. So um, and I started business in 2009. So let's talk about the business of what you do. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us some of the insights. If we were interviewing you on a TV show to say, tell us about the social media side and turning those people into customers. How would you uh, explain that to people? So the way I look at social media marketing is you're using social media for two reasons. One is to collect an email address, and two is to form that know, like, and trust, form that relationship. Um, there's a big myth when you're selling things online that people just come to your site and just buy from you the first time they find your site, but that's, that's not true. People don't do that in person either. It's very rare that we hear of a product, and then as soon as we hear it, we go buy it. We like to read reviews. We like to do research. So social media is a really, really effective way to make prospects feel like they can trust you enough to make a purchase from you, whether you're selling online or whether you're a consultant or something like that. So that's a big role that social media plays. And we also use social media for lead gen, taking people from Facebook and Twitter and sending them to landing pages that are uh, giving them maybe a free report and getting their email address or sending them to our homepage and getting their email address. And then all the selling is done through email, not really through social media. So it, it, the way I look at it and the way I try and explain it and tell me if I'm if this is the way you, you, you think as well, everything is geared towards in the business side, which is the hat we have to wear on this. The game is capture their email address. Mm -hmm. Once you've captured their email address, it kind of puts you in charge of the relationship as opposed to them. It's because exactly. you now have a way to reach them. Yeah, I totally agree. I think when you don't have people's email addresses, you're putting the impetus on them to come find you, to come visit your website, to come buy from you. And it's a way that you can make it easy for your customer, for your prospect to remind them, to guide them upon the path, to put it right in front of them in their inbox. So if you had three or four tips that we would bullet in the book, in word of mouth, how people are using technology and how it changes the way they buy, sell, the, the tagline is 
buy, sell, live, learn, work, play, and communicate. What would those uh, be? Whether it's uh, Infusionsoft is a given, if you will, mm -hmm. but in the way that you structured your business, it's brilliant and it's the market that this book can hit very, very well. Give us three or four bullets that you think you could impart when friends turn to you and say, help me do it. What would be the, the helpful hints? So like tips on getting started? Whether it's tips on getting started or using, I like the subject of automation and the changes it's brought where you're now a dispersed group of people instead of 98% of the market, which is people working in the same office. Right. Getting started as an independent entrepreneur and, and what technologies and how to think differently. The book is really wanting people to think differently. Mm -hmm. You're eating um, so it, living it, and breathing it. Recommending a specific tool, is that the type of thing that you're looking for? Whatever you think. Okay. Um, so one thing that we do to stay connected as a company that's uh, all over the country and all over the world is a tool called Yammer that serves as a kind of internal Twitter network for your company. And I think having, so people post updates about what they're doing. It's also kind of a water cooler bulletin board. People post funny videos and things like that. Uh, and I think having a centralized place to talk and brainstorm and chat and catch up like that is really, really essential for running this type of business because it's very easy for people to get very disconnected. Um, something that I see a lot of problem that happens is people have one-on-one -on -one relationships with the people that they work with digitally, but not everyone is coming together. So people are often missing the bigger picture of what's happening in the company. You know, the copywriter might talk to the designer, but neither one of them ever talks to the media buying person when they're all working digitally. So nobody that's really smart. understands the bigger picture of what's happening with the company. Yeah, that's really smart. So everyone's, um, everyone's seeing uh, it's not the left arm doesn't know what the right arm is doing is or as much of it. You still probably have that. Now, are these full time people? Uh, for me, I have, uh, I guess, four full time people, four or five full time people. And then I also have some contractors as we need them. Wow. So any other yeah. tips that you would give regarding um, the social media side of the business uh, that you would give consumers or uh, anyone who could be reading this book, which I have a feeling are going to be small businesses that want to use the technology and the automation in, in, in understanding how things change. Any other tips or tricks that yeah. you would throw in there that you've learned? Yeah, I'm planning your social media and all of your marketing is incredibly important. Um, so we have a weekly newsletter that goes out every week called The Dash, and it has a little actionable tip for something you can do for your social media marketing. It takes 10 minutes or less. And we actually plan out The Dash topics for an entire year in advance, um, which people think is kind of crazy. Um, but it's automated. But we have a focus for each month. The way we look at that is we have a sort of promotional theme for each month and our newsletter goes along that and our blog posts go along that and our webinars go along that as well. So we have a whole content plan and uh, people are very impressed and it sounds very slick and organized, but it's, it's actually really easy to do if you just plan it out ahead of time. Uh, a lot of people want to do content marketing, newsletters and blogs, but they approach it with this attitude of uh, panic every time <laughs> a new blog post has to go up as though it's a big surprise, you know, that, that they're going to add another blog post every week. And if you just plan themes in advance, it makes it much, much easier. So if we're talking about LinkedIn for all of February, well, okay, we're going to have four newsletter topics about LinkedIn. We're going to have four blog posts about LinkedIn. We're going to do a newsletter about LinkedIn. And you're using the same sorts of themes, right? You have your LinkedIn strategy. They're sort of telling people over and over again, getting into little details, but it makes it really easy for customers to follow along with. Um, promotionally, it's great because people are feeling a lot of energy around one theme or one program, and it makes your life much easier for creating content. It's pretty smart. Thanks. And it, so <laughs> why have you thought about outsourcing where companies can hire you to manage this for them? Is that not something just, you've thought about or you don't want to do it? It's just not the business. Um, it's just not the business that we're in. Um, we're, we're in the training business. Um, I believe that most companies are much more effective on social media when they can have someone in their own team do it. The thing about social media is 
is customer service. You know, people are asking you questions about your company on Twitter and on Facebook. So you really need somebody that knows the answers to those questions um, and can answer them in the voice and the personality that you want for your business. That doesn't mean the founder of the business has to be the one doing social media, um, but it's it can be difficult to achieve that with somebody who's completely outside of your company. Any questions you want to ask? Um, I'm asking Sarah if she has any questions she wants to wants me to ask. Yep, um, I was just wondering if 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 we wanted to talk a little bit more about the database. Tell us a little bit more about the database and the database marketing. Once you've you, to give us how many different ways do you try to capture an email address? I believe database marketing, and I want you to add to this comment. Database marketing is the key to success in the internet mm -hmm. age. It is the number one absolute. If you didn't have your database, you'd be in big trouble. As opposed yeah, to a person or an editor or a writer, your database is, is, your, is your gold, your golden goose. It keeps delivering yeah. for you. Tell us a little bit about the database side of things and maybe how many different ways do you capture email addresses? Um, uh, yeah, the database is absolutely crucial to our marketing. I mean, it's it's really the only asset that we have, and I tell people that about social media, you really need to be driving people back to your website where you're capturing email addresses because you don't own anything on social media. You don't own your Twitter followers. You don't own your Facebook fans. People get their accounts shut down all the time. You know, services change, services come and go. Uh, you can be very proud of yourself that you have tons of followers on Twitter, and I think that's valuable, but it's, it's not really an asset that you know that you have. You have it for now and you can leverage it now, but a year from now, who knows? Um, your database is yours and you own it. So as far as different ways for capturing people, I mean, we have tons of them because as we create one, you know, what's so cool about the internet, we create a webinar um, that people sign up for and we can leave that webinar sign up page up. They can come a year later and they can get their recording these are sort of digital little footprints that you have all over the web. And so as you do more webinars, as you do more reports, as you do more whatever your lead gen is, um, we just keep them all going. And so over time, they add up and you have 20 different ways that people can find you, that people can get valuable information and that people can give you their email address.